How's it going guys, Slav here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix all add-on vehicle related issues in GTA 5. Uh, so, this includes uh, all ears, crashes, or anything preventing you from uh, playing with your add-on vehicles. I had a lot, uh, long time trying to figure this out, so uh, please like the video and subscribe if you just feel free to. Uh, but anyways, first thing you're going to want to need is open IV. Click on GTA 5. If you don't have this already, then, um, well, this is the basic start to having add on vehicles. Alright, we're in. Once you get in, you want to enable edit mode. And then you run out to mods, update, update RPF, common, data. And then you'll have your game config.xml. And we're going to need a custom game config.xml and uh, we have one right here the kingpin game config so what you're going to want to do is download this open it up get a kingpin and then here's a game config and you just want to drag and drop this in here I'm not going to do it since I already have it in there Make sure you are in your mods folder as well. If you don't know how to get your mods folder, just go to regular update, update RPF, and it'll show copy to mods folder right here. Then uh, it'll copy all this to uh, your mods folder, common data, same thing right here. Now the next mod that you're going to need is heap limit adjuster. This uh, adjusts the amount of RAM located to uh, certain files. And it's not really that much of a heap. It goes from 500 megabytes to 650, which is just 150 megabytes or more. But uh, it does help with some ears. So uh, you still want to download that. It'll give you this one uh, ASI file. And you could uh, go back to OpenIV. Or go back to your GTA 5 folder where GTA5.exe is right here. And then you just want to drag and drop this into here. And that's to verify that it's in here. You can scroll all the way to the bottom. And it should be at the bottom down here. GTA 5 um, heap adjuster. But it'll uh, appear right here between the EXEs after that. Now the next model you're going to need is pack file limit adjuster. And this eliminates uh, big file sizes uh, such as mod packs like vanilla works and stuff. It's over a uh, gigabyte. And this just makes it so you can have um, you, your game could support those files. So it'll give you these uh, ASI and an INI file. You want to do the same thing. Just drag and drop it into your GT5 folder. Where your GT5.exe is. Just drag and drop it in here. I already have it in here, so I don't need to do it. Let's see, it'll appear right here. And in here, here's the INI. You can go ahead and edit it if you'd like. Right now, it's set as 5208, which is 5,208 megabytes, which is uh, 5 gigabytes. So, um, that's a lot. And I don't think uh, you'll need to change this, so you can just leave it alone if you want to. But if at any point you possibly need to change that, then you can just go into the INI file and change that. Now, the last but not least, what you're going to need to do is you're going to create a new text document. In your, uh, in your folder here. And you can do this in this regular file explorer too. Go to your GTA 5 folder, which is, is in this directory right here, at the top of the screen. Then you want to right click, new text document, then you'll name it command line. And uh, I'm not going to create it. Because I already have one. But once you create that new text document, you want to go ahead and open it up. And then you want to click space dash ignored ignore different video card. And uh, I'll have that linked in the description. Or I'll have that typed down in the description in case you just want to copy and paste it. But uh, that's what you want to type in there. You want to click file, save. Then you can go ahead and exit out of it. And this should prevent... <clears throat> all anon vehicle ears. I got uh, over 
500 vehicle mods installed, and I haven't had any problems. I had lots of problems before, but after doing all this, it fixed it all. As you can see, I got quite a few mods in here. Especially, like, uh, if you're installing Vanilla Works. Files over a gigabyte. It's a pretty big mod. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And, uh, see you guys next video. Peace.